Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, join the family. But today, well, I am about to fly to Miami. I'm about to pack and then fly to Miami. I'm so excited. It's a girl's trip for the first week and then I might go to the Bahamas for a bit. And then I'm back in Miami for a press trip. So 14 days basically in Miami and I need to pack. And I thought what better time than to actually document and share my packing tips with you guys. Cause this is the first trip Trip of 2020. I want to do this right. I want to kick things off, get organized and kind of pack efficiently. I'm an overpacker, but I've definitely learned along the way the best tips and tricks and ways to organize myself for an efficient kind of packing experience. And then also when I'm out there, so everything can be organized and, you know, packed efficiently so I can see it clearly. And then when I get back, it's not too much of a mess and we can deal with it when we're depressed and home back in the UK. <laughs> but anyway, let's get straight into it. First things first, I start off by creating lists. That beautiful thing in your phone called notes. So I have a general packing list, which I'm gonna share with you guys. And this will be different for everyone, but I keep this in my phone, which means that every time I go on a trip, I refer to this list and then add and take away things. So I have my electricals, I have my wash bag, which I put all my skincare, toothbrush, razors, sun cream, stuff like that. And you can see it here. And then I have shoes and then we've got makeup. And then within the makeup category, I obviously take different stuff on different trips. And I generally don't write down a list of what makeup I'm gonna take I just make sure that I've got the stuff that I always forget like tweezers and lash glue and lashes I'll never forget foundation. I rarely forget like eyeshadow palettes and stuff to be honest That's helpful for me and then hair and wigs Obviously I need my hair extensions and I need my wigs. Otherwise, I'm gonna be bold essentials So this is like the clothing category, but it's stuff like I cannot forget underwear bras socks always need a brace uh, a lace bralette. It's like when you're packing outfits and you think, have I forgot anything? And then I refer to this and I'm like, belts. Always forget belts. So another thing that I do, which is a top tip for when I'm planning my packing. So I pre-plan it before I pack because otherwise it's a mess and I just grab everything and chuck it all in and forget stuff. So I've got my itinerary and um, which is super cute. And then a few outfit ideas at the bottom. But as I'm packing, I then take pictures. <laughs> I mean, I'm not this organized all the time, guys. I'm a bit scatty, but and then I fill in the blanks with my outfit suggestions But it will probably change on the day. Who am I kidding? <laughs> so guys, welcome to the CC cam <laughs> We have our cases out. I love these cases. They are by American Tourista and they've literally seen me through the whole of 2019 and that's a lot of traveling. So let's get actually I'm gonna put one aside. I do take two cases especially if it's two weeks. I have camera equipment and all sorts so if you're thinking what just two weeks and two cases this isn't even a lot trust me. I'm gonna open this up and share with you a fine little secret. Number one that is packing cubes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Cue the cat. These are perfect for packing your cats in. <laughs> this gig, what are you doing? Thanks for watching this vlog, guys. Ready to go to Miami. <laughs> so I don't use packing cubes for everything, but um, for my essentials, like this could take underwear. This could probably do all of my shorts or tops, like little things. I'm gonna start by packing my electricals and then I'm gonna move on to my wash bag before I start with the clothes, which are all over there waiting to see who makes the cut. Okay, so let's start with electricals, which are in this drawer. I normally tick off as I go, so I know that I need, oh my gosh, she's gonna jump in this drawer now. See what I have to deal with. Say, say hello to everyone, hello. Oh, I wanna take this camera. I forgot about this actually. I'm gonna add this to my list. This is my Osmo camera. It's so good, it's like a little GoPro almost, but um, tiny and it has just like the most insane camera on it. So I'm gonna add that to my list. I'm gonna use the light that I'm using right now. I'm gonna take that, so I need to pack. Oh, my top tip for packing as well. So top tip for packing with electricals, always take an extension lead. It's been my savior because it means I can charge my camera, my hair straighteners, my phone, all at the same time and just use one adapter. My hair straighteners and curling ones will go in here, like literally all electricals because I put it all in the same place when I unpack. This camera, I love this for holiday snaps, is the Olympus Pen and it's just so gorgeous. It's ideal for just 
those Instagram pics, do you know what I mean? This is a really handy little tool, by the way. It's a card adapter that goes straight into your phone. So when you're taking those snaps on the Olympus or any camera, you put the SD card straight into here and then straight into your phone and voila, you have all the pictures instantly. So I always take that with me. Oh, here we go. I found a little bag and I normally put things like my portable chargers and the SD reader and my little baby wires all in here. There's not like too many wires going on in this big, what's it called? Cube, packing cube. Okay, so electricals are done for now. So I'm just gonna pop them in there. The good thing about the packing cubes is if I don't want them to be there, then it's easy to rearrange the cubes, but it's harder to like take out the wires from the case in between all the clothes, do you know what I mean? So that's that. Let's move on to wash bag. So this is my wash bag. I always tend to use one about this size and um, this is gorgeous actually. It's by Lily and Lionel, which is so cute. And I go to my drawers. Then we see what skincare we have inside. I'm actually gonna turn these lights on because hey, now the world is a brighter place. So I need sun cream. I'm gonna go for this one, which is so gorgeous. I love that. We need a little bit of body shimmer, don't we? We want Fenty, don't we girls? We want Fenty. We need some moisturizer, like an all over body moisturizer. What should we go for? I've heard that this is really good for enhancing your tan. I love this. Anthelios by La Roche-Posay. It's just for your face. And it, well, it's not just for your face. You can use it anywhere, but it's just a perfect little pocket. Handy size, tingling for your face. I need to dye my hair whilst I'm out there because I'm trying to maintain like this purple hair thing. So I'm gonna take my purple hair dye. I'm gonna take my fake tan as well. I'm gonna take a little facial oil with me. It's so beautiful. This is the CEO Glow Sunday Riley oil, which is really nice for the skin. I literally can't live without this if you've watched my recent skincare video you'll know that Ule Hendrickson Henriksen sorry is one of my favorite brands at the moment so I'm gonna take that with me I have to admit I don't normally forget anything so just check him still got one more day tomorrow so I don't want to pack everything and then have to get a few things out hairbrush love this hairbrush it's a Denman one swear by that okay so that's my wash bag done for now <laughs> Okay, so my next cube, the long one. I'm not gonna fill it with underwear. Oh, need like 14 pairs of knickers. Oh, we have some socks. Let's take these Nike ones. And there we have it, a perfectly sausaged size underwear cube. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling so tired. So I might actually start on the clothes tomorrow. What I might do is try a few bits on as well and take some pictures and then we can get into the outfits tomorrow. So, Good night, my darlings. I will see you in the morning, which is in a second for us. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> so it's day two of packing. I just got back from London from a few meetings actually. And I literally only have a few hours. Well, I've got the rest of the evening, but tomorrow morning <laughs> I leave for Miami. So we've got to get this done. Girls and boys, we've got to get this done. So my wash bag's nearly done. Um, same as electricals, underwear. Let's move on to bikinis. So my whole drawer full of bikinis. So I have my cube. Let's fill her with some swimwear. I want to take about, this is going to sound crazy, maybe 14 bikinis. <laughs> I'm there for 14 days and I don't want to wear the same thing each day. Gah. The only reason I wear different things each day is for you guys, social content. You don't want to see me wearing the same thing. You want to know about different bikinis and different outfits. How cute is this, by the way? I've bought quite a lot of stuff from White Fox boutique so on the gram you'll be seeing a few um new bikini numbers but yeah you get the gist neon green okay now we're on the money it literally says miami swimsuit that says miami on it that's going straight in my basket oh so this is the situation i have right now we have packages upon packages upon packages so i'm gonna open these with you guys upstairs and then we can decide what to take this i have to say was kindly gifted to me from pretty little thing so I'm just disclosing that for you guys and nasty gal not sponsored at all but they wanted to kick me out for miami which is really generous and I'm so excited to see what's inside. Also, I look so formal right now. I'm like, we're in a blazer, ready to go to work. I mean, this is my version of um, meetings outfit. Oh yes. So, I'm about to swap the beanie for the floppy hat. So chic. <laughs> I've never 
never worn a floppy hat before. Is this how you wear it? We'll have to just do one of those pictures where it looks chic and I've got like a little outfit on, but I can't see nothing. Oh my goodness. Look how gorgeous this little set is. So this is from Pretty Little Thing. It's like an orange floral bikini. The bottoms are so cute. I'm definitely taking this with me. Although these look really, really high waisted. I need to try these on to be honest, but I'm going to put these in my swimwear pile because look, it comes with a shirt as well, like a beach shirt, which is so, so gorgeous. Oh, wow, these are a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I don't know. It's like a, some kind of space nappy. <laughs> oh, these look more promising. They're a little bit more low waist. It's still the shape I like. So yeah, I'm still gonna try them on. Gotta try everything on because that's part of the fun. Well, that's nice. A little like wrap top with flared sleeves. I haven't started packing my clothes yet. I need to start with the top cube. Yeah, I do this before every trip, to be honest. I always buy new stuff and it becomes progressively more messy, which is why I was saying earlier was like the calm before the storm. So I'm gonna try these on and I'll show you once I've got a few outfits that I love. Just getting all the denim out, cause I've got some like denim jackets that I like to wear over the top of bikinis or for a chilly day. I've got some gorgeous like mixed denim bits as well. So I'm gonna put all of the denim and like more casual stuff in a pile and then all of the dressy stuff in a pile and filter it through. So we have unboxed some more stuff and we are in full swing of outfit try-ons. And this is the first one. <laughs> so what I do is take a picture of each outfit and, um, and then I put it into a little Miami Outfits album. This is actually, these are shorts by the way. They look like, well it's a skirt, so it looks like a skirt, but they're shorts and a little skirt on top with these. This is from Jaded, no, Collusion by Collusion that sold on ASOS. And then this is a body suit from SLA and then these shoes are from Misguided. So what I do is I take a little picture on my phone and then save it to my album so when I'm on holiday I don't have to rummage through all of the ruckus. I can just, you know, look at my digital wardrobe. So I'm going to continue to try a few more bits on. So we're getting somewhere. <laughs> this floor has cleared quite drastically. I'm sorting through these bits. This is my pile of yes. And I'm about to go and get some more things from my wardrobe downstairs. So many shoes in here that I want. Oh, these could be a good option. I'm gonna leave them there for now. I'm gonna do shoes last, even though I've kind of like planned in my head a few to go with outfits. I definitely wanna take these feelers. I have a thing about Converse. They have, well, they're pretty fresh actually. They have to be really fresh for me to like them, but they're really fresh. Um, and also these Gucci trainers are pretty beaten up as well. Right, let's open this up and get onto nah. Oh my gosh. Right, so these shorts, oh, I love these shorts. Definitely gonna take those from Misguided. I'm gonna chuck everything I want on the bed. Oh, we've got another pair under there. Do I want these ones? Pretty little thing. Yeah, we'll take those black ones and those, definitely take those white ones. Okay, so I've got some shorts. Obviously, she's keeping guard of them. I'm gonna get some dresses out. So I wanna wear this maxi dress. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this maxi dress and a few others. So I'm gonna select some pieces and take them up to put in my case. All right then, let's take this upstairs. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. So I'm upstairs again. Let's get into the cube packing. Right, so this one's gonna be my shorts cube. I don't get too anal about like keeping every cube as one specific type of clothing like I'm just gonna put cohorts in one of the cubes I keep saying cubes but yeah let's pack shorts in so a few of my essentials that I'm taking I always need cycling shorts because just a day that you're just lounging about or you want to go down to breakfast like a pair of um cycling shorts and just a baggy t-shirt or a cute little like oversized um, shirt that you can tie up. Really cute. All my denim shirts are in here so I'm just putting everything in here that are single shorts, not cohorts by the way. I have got a bit extra of shorts. I don't need these shorts, I'm not gonna take them. 
I've got too many already, so that's my final decision on that. So I'm excited for this trip because it is a holiday. We've paid for it ourselves. It's just going to be so much fun. It's um, with friends that I've made through the industry, and I'm so proud to like be close to them and happy that we. You know, when you talk about something, you're like, yeah, we should go on holiday, and it never happens. Well. I'm so proud of us because it's happening. Okay, so the next little um, cube, I'm not gonna say cube anymore because it's really annoying me, but for the next lot, I'm gonna pack my little dresses. So we have this little dress from Opoly, which is super cute. I don't really wear dresses very often and I've definitely got way more dresses like to take than I'm actually gonna wear, I know that already. So I'm gonna pack them and then assess the situation. By the way, please comment any of your packing tips down in the comments below. I'll be replying to you all as per usual anyway. I would love to know what your tips are. Um, how gorgeous is this by the way? This is like my little Fenty number, very special dress that I got um, to treat myself. You can't really go to Miami without wearing a neon lime dress, can you now? Okay, so I have my shorts and then my dresses and skirts in this little one here. And now I'm gonna move on to, I think I'm gonna move on to like day wear, maybe some beach wear, which means oversized shirts, maybe like flurry trousers. I've got a few cords stuff over here so let me think about this yeah let's do cords and a few day outfits in here that are a bit more flowy not like chunky denim but just like flowy bits and we'll see how we get on okay so i'm gonna put a few more like flowy dresses and things in here that i would wear in the daytime so that way it's easy to go to one of the compartments based on what time of day what occasion it is that's what i find easiest anyway i've also been taking pictures of outfits just like laid out on the floor as well just so i remember what I've got and what goes with what as well. Yeah, let's do shirts in here as well. Anything flowy. This is the flowy compartment. <laughs> How cool are these shirts? I mean, a bit leery, but you know me. I like bright colours and I just feel like this will look so good, especially in the Bahamas on the beach, tied up with a bikini underneath. Guys, I'm now on to casual tops. So I'm gonna put t-shirts in here. I'm gonna put this sports bra in there because I actually wanna wear that as a top. And I feel like if I put that in my underwear compartment, then I'll forget about it. So this is like my Harley Davidson t-shirt. Anything that's kind of daytime top type thing. Ooh, the cubes are coming along nicely. And I've started to pack this side. So anything that can be zipped up. So this is basically a compartment of its own. And I'm just putting the heavy jeans and jackets in this compartment and then in here we'll have a few cubes and obviously we have this whole case as well to put them in i've still got a few tops to do and i have eliminated a few things as well but what i've decided to do is go and fake tan because i just need to do it before it gets to bedtime and then i get it all on my sheets okay guys we now have the second case open we're ready to start filling and once i've got my clothes in i've got a few more i've got a couple of tracksuits to put in this compartment for on the way home and then i'm also going to put shoes in there and then we're gonna fill this with the cubes. But yeah, once I am done, we're gonna then move on to the makeup. So, right, I'm gonna put bikinis here and then tops in this part. Just kind of fit the cubes in. This is quite a big case and it does fit a lot in. Do you see what I mean by being able to like move stuff around? If I only want to get shorts out, the cubes are the best things ever. Then we're gonna move on to makeup and then I put the shoes and electricals in last I'm obviously using the camera. <gasps> I need to do my nails as well. These cases are looking rather full. So we're gonna see what we're dealing with in a bit. This is my makeup travel case, which is amazing because it, I mean, I never use the hanging thing because it's always too heavy, but this is going to be filled with all of my makeup that I'm gonna be using for the next two weeks. I'm gonna start by just looking in here at my essentials drawer because this is, this is like my everyday go-to drawer and I don't wanna take too much. Um, oh, I need to take that cream. So let's start with a contour stick for sure. What highlighter is that? My translucent powder. Oh yeah, I love that. I'm gonna take that with me. The dose of colors. This little palette is cute as well. Hood Beauty, the neon pink palette. Oh yeah, this is nice. A nice neutral palette actually. Perfect, because I don't want to take, this is like my favorite one for the eyes, but it's a bit too big. I've just tucked my Beauty Blender foundation in there and now I'm putting my Born This Way 
concealer. Love that concealer. Let's take this little gloss, shall we? Wet Cherry Gloss. Definitely my favorite ever brow mousse. And I'm also going to leave a few things out for my hand luggage as well. This is like my favorite blush of the moment. It's so good. I'm just gonna keep filling this up, to be honest. I always forget lashes, and these are my favorite ones at the moment. The Sandy Lashes by Dull Lash, and I love them. Also got a few like, I'm gonna take with me, <laughs> you see all of my little spiders that I've been collecting. Um, I'm gonna take some of these because I've totally like only used them a couple of times. And to be honest, I use my lashes up to like 15 times, I think, so yeah. Mascara. Yeah, let's take a Maybelline and a waterproof. Kind of want to make sure I've got a red, a dark lip and nudes, and then I'm covered really. Oh my goodness, case one is about to be closed. Anyway, I hope you found it enjoyable to join me packing up until now. I am gonna get a few hours sleep. Yeah, a few to be honest. It's like midnight and I wake up at like six. So, oh, by the way, this is my hand luggage. So I'm taking this, which is kind of empty at the moment. I'm just gonna put my laptop inside it. And I'm also gonna take that Dior bag back because it's faulty. And if they can sort it at the airport, that'd be amazing. Um, and I'm gonna take this, which is my new baby, little Givenchy bag. So yeah, that's my hand luggage. And I'll check in with you before we leave in the morning. Morning guys. So it's bright and early. I've had a bath. I've washed my tan off. I'm glowing a little bit. I'm literally ready to go. Just thought I would do a little bit of makeup because I don't want to look too much like a dead person walking through the airport. But yeah, I'm going to pack this away. I, oh. My little friends joined me to say goodbye. I'm gonna put a few things in my little hand luggage bag, like some lipsticks and glosses, perfume. Oh, I'm gonna spray some actually. Oh gosh. Um, and mascara, and then bronzer. The outfit I'm wearing to the airport is actually by my friend Sarah, who's coming on the trip with us, Sarah Ashcroft. This is SLA, love this hoodie and these sweatpants. They are just so cool and so comfortable and very flattering as well. So all the good things that we want in a tracksuit. In my hand luggage, I think I've already shown you, I've literally just got a few things in here because what I like to do is keep it quite empty. So I've got this in my handbag because if my cases are overweight, I can put some things in here. Yeah, I just put a hairbrush in here. I've got some makeup brushes. Okay, Buzzy's just weighed my other case. It's only 23 kg and I'm allowed 32. So I'm pretty proud of myself. This one's gonna be probably twice as heavy. Okay guys, so we're all packed and we're under the weight, which is all good. I have thoroughly enjoyed packing with you guys, even though I do find it quite stressful. But Buzzy's gonna take me to the airport now. Better say goodbye to this one, who spent the whole vlog just following me about. Give me a kiss. Goodbye, my darling. <laughs> makes my heart melt. Anyway, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment below your top tip for packing. I'd be super interested. And um, yeah, stay tuned to my stories for some of the carnage of um, Miami, Bahamas, and then Miami again. <laughs> See you in the next one, my beauties. Love you lots. Mwah. Bye.